What's going on guys? No Punter Sport Cards. Um, it is 8.30 in the morning. I'm headed down to San Jose. It'll be about an hour and a half drive. Heading to the, it was the Fairfield show. I think it's now the Hayward show. Should be about 250 tables. Gonna see a, hopefully a lot of F1 people, which will be, I'm really excited for it. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go stop at McDonald's, get something to eat on the way down. And I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so I wanted to try something new here. I wanted to try to just kind of give a quick voiceover, so because I know the music doesn't quite give a lot of context to what is kind of going on. So this was a mall show, as you can see. It was pretty big. There was this main central area of the mall where most of the action took place, and then there were some offshoots, kind of going off the sides of those. And the offshoots probably had about probably slightly more tables in that middle area. Pretty large show. There's also a ton of different stuff. This was one of the more diverse shows I've seen in a while. Like, as you see here, there's a Star Wars table, which I don't know the last time I've seen a table dedicated to Star Wars or if I even ever have. So that was pretty cool to see. And then, of course, you have, you know, the soccer tables, the F1 tables, and all of that stuff, which was really fun. One of the main things I noticed with this show that made it interesting was that there wasn't a ton of modern basketball, which is one of the reasons why I really enjoyed it, because I'm not the biggest basketball guy, so... Not having that as an option for me just really made the tables a lot more fun and exciting to look over. So the show is pretty fun. Now uh, coming up here, there's gonna be a few kind of funny photos I wanted to throw in here. We will see them in a second. Pretty pretty funny. You have a Nobaharo Machushita SGC 10 for 20 bucks. You have a foil fractor Geo that the guy was asking 900 dollars for. And then a fun little flip I found in a dollar bin for three bucks that I ended up turning into a thirty dollars in about twenty seconds afterwards. All right, so time for a little recap from after the show. The show was a lot of fun. I haven't had that much fun in a show in quite a while, which is a ton of fun with everything going on. Saw a ton of people watch the channel, people I talked to all the time, so that was awesome. Yeah, let's just jump right into what we got. First thing I got is this big, huge stack. These are gonna be going on whatnot. I'm gonna sell a lot of these kind of over there. You know, we got a lot of refractors, a few paper colors, stuff like that. So I'm gonna be selling those over on whatnot. So if you want a chance to get some of those, make sure to follow me over there. Then the first real thing that caught my eye was, I don't know why I stopped at this table, but there's quite a few people looking through a dollar box at this certain table. And I saw it was so many people that I even was like, hmm, I wonder like what's over here. And it was some of the best three to five dollar, one dollar boxes I've ever seen. So the card that caught my eye was this Dalton Varsho Bowman first. This is out of 150 uh, blue refractor. This caught my eye in the five dollar bin when this is about a forty dollar card. And so I was like, okay, we have to stop. So I got the, all of these cards that I'm about to show you for $45. So this card basically breaks me even almost. And the rest of these I got for free. Dalton Varsho. This is going to be the Sky Blue out of... Uh, it's either $4.99 or $3.99. Out of $3.99, Sky Blue. We got a D.L. Hall first auto. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Gold out of 2019. Two Tanner Houck first refractor autos. A 2019 Wander Franco Draft Refractor. Tyler Stevenson 2017 Gold Shimmer Bowman Chrome. 2018 Nikki Lopez Green Auto out of 99. And a Cal Mitchell Bowman Paper Red out of 5. So, got all of those for 45 bucks. I should be able to probably 4 or 5 times my money on that, which is unbelievable for a dollar bin. Next up... Some fun Star Wars stuff. I saw these and I've never seen anything like this. It is the Jedi a la Kurosawa cards. Maybe a Randy Martinez, but as you can see, they were autoed by the artist, Randy Martinez. So really like these. I picked up both of these combined for $70. I think I'm gonna keep this paper one and move the chrome one because the chrome is slightly faded if you can see, but really, beautiful cards it's one of the favorites for star wars so happy to pick it up 
Then I found these two cards at a table. There were a few other cards that he didn't want to quite move, which was okay. We got this Chartreuse Vettel and this Green Raywave Vettel. We got both of these combined for $30. This is going to go towards me trying to get every Green Raywave of Vettel from 2021. And this is just a nice card. I love picking up Vettel stuff, so because he's just so cheap. Then we stopped at a table where I just kind of just talked a little while about kind of NASCAR stuff because I really think NASCAR has the potential to do really well in the future if it ever catches on. So I managed to buy this from him. There's Joey Logano gold prism insert. It's going to be number seven out of ten. I mean, I picked this up for $10. Whenever I can buy these gold prisms for that cheap, I always buy them as long as it's a decent enough name. And Logano is definitely a good enough name for me to do that. Fun PC cards I found next. I don't even know what these cards are, but I saw it in the showcase and I had to buy both of them. First one is this Jason Voorhees Fangoria card. I've been hunting to try to find a Jason Voorhees card of some sort. And I know this is technically not Jason Voorhees. This is Roy, and you can tell by the blue markings on the mask. But still, I've wanted something pretty similar to this, so very happy with it. And on a similar note... Not as big on the Predator compared, but Predator's an iconic movie, iconic figure in movie history. So I've got both of these for $15. Really fun PC cards I'll keep. Then last but not least, our biggest pickup of the day by far. And it's funny, I'm basically into this card for only trade. I had to give them money, but after I show you, I'll explain it. I picked up this. Kimmy Orange 70th SGC 10. I've wanted to get some nice Kimmy. And this definitely scratches the itch of Kimmy. The card looks pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Debatably, let me crack this and send to PSA at some point. Because I have a gold 70th there right now. So it could be fun to have both of them. This card I ended up trading back. I didn't show the order, but I traded a, what's it called? A Jacob deGrom rookie PSA 10 that I got back from an order. A Ronald Acuna Heritage PSA 10 rookie. Then I gave him 150 in cash, but that 150 in cash I just recently got from selling two Daniel Ricardo refractors and a George Russell Tops now PSA 10. So give him cash, but really it was basically kind of all trade. And I will much rather have this Kimmy than all the other ones. So that will do it for the show. I like I said, this show was phenomenal. I haven't had that much fun in a show in a long time. It was really fun to walk around and buy this awesome stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of these pickups. Make sure to go follow me over on Whatnot if you want to kind of pick up some of these cards as I want to be a lot more frequent over there and just kind of get to chat with you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your day and have a good one. Take care. Bye.